Hello again. Now the main stories in London. A report into the number of traffic offences caused on CCTV has revealed that London's motorists have been hardest hit. 90% of the revenue raised in the last five years has been collected in London boroughs. Ron K. Phillips has this report. London councils stand accused of using CCTV cameras and so-called spy cars to raise revenue in industrial volumes, £300 million over five years, and London councils account for 90% of that total. Big Brother Watch, who carried out the research, say these cameras have nothing to do with keeping motorists safe or fighting crime and everything to do with raising revenue. I think for drivers especially, parents who are dropping their children off at school and having to do a daily commute, slapping them with a fine doesn't really resonate with how that's going to keep their children any safer. So I think the councils have to come out with some hard, hard evidence about how it's actually going to make our streets any safer. Westminster Council, who issued the highest number of penalty charge notices, admits it was overzealous in the past, but says it's now changing its ways. Clearly it's a last resort for us to use CCTV and we keep reducing the number of cameras. So we've looked at what we do and we've reduced our cameras from 179 to 50 in the last two years. The local government association insists that these cameras are necessary for pedestrian safety if nothing else. But that's a very bitter pill for the motorists who are paying these charges to swallow. Ronco Phillips reporting there. MEPs have voted almost unanimously this morning to change laws governing the design of lorries. The ruling would get rid of blind spots which put cyclists and pedestrians at risk. A marathon runner from Sierra Leone who disappeared after finishing 20th in Sunday's race is still missing. Police earlier said that 24-year-old Mami Kone Lahoon had been found but then reissued their appeal. She was due to fly home yesterday. Motorists heading out of London for the bank holiday weekend could face the worst traffic in three years. A rise in Easter sun seekers and a, and a rise in high car sales could mean high, heavy delays over Easter. A report says the M25 and the M1 will be among the worst affected from Thursday. Well, it's been beautiful today, but what's the rest of the day looking like? Here's Lucy. We love to get away, whatever the weather. My Ferrylink Dover to Calais Ferries. Sponsor ITV London Weekday Weather. Hello to you. Very good afternoon. Well, things are looking promising as we roll towards a long Easter weekend. Settled and dry, some lovely warm sunshine. But bear in mind, we're in for some chilly nights with temperatures falling under clear skies. Today, well, it's lovely for the rest of this afternoon. Uh, Full-blown, brilliant blue skies, stunning sunshine. Still quite cool air, so temperatures around 16 degrees at best. Quite nippy in the breeze, I should think, and in the shade, but the sun's strong enough to burn this time of year. A lovely evening ahead with late and low sunshine, and then tonight, clear and cold with a touch of frost. I'll see you again a little later. My Ferrylink Dover to Calais Ferries, sponsor ITV London Weekday Weather. And on the programme tonight, a Londoner Chris Hallett is no stranger to International Stadia and now he's using his life savings to make the 15,000 mile trip on a Vespa to the Rio World Cup. Find out more at six. That's it from us for now, but you can get, up, get updates throughout the day on our website. We'll see you at six. Goodbye. <laughs>